Amala coming to you here on uh, Friday, January 13th. And as I was reading that proverb, um, something just struck me that I'm going to share with you. And it has to do with beware of probably a Satanist. I don't know for sure. I just suspect somebody that hates the Word of God so much must be serving another master, and that would be Satan. And something I read in Proverbs 13 fits exactly extol Yeshua, who goes by the name of Cat. Cat. On extol Yeshua always. A false prophet. A false teacher. A liar. A wicked person. A snare to a Christian. A huge snare leading you down to the path of the lake of fire. And here is the word that I found, one of the many words I found in the Bible that fit extol herself. God too, it's Proverbs 13, verse 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. That's Cat. She despises the word of God. She is constantly destroying the word of God by seeing a D-Wave science fiction computer changed it on your nightstand while you were sleeping. So this is her ending right there And if she doesn't repent. And I have pleaded with her to repent in every almost every video I've made of late. I say, Cat, please repent, repent, stop this nonsense. Just maybe you weren't raised on it. Maybe you aren't a Christian. I don't know what it is. But until Jesus comes, until Jesus Christ returns to this earth, Cat, you still have time to repent and to stop deceiving other Christians into following you. Some of these people are babes in the word of scripture and they may not have it on their heart. So when you mislead them, you're taking someone to hell with you. And that's not right, Cat. That's not right. So I'm pleading with you in the name of Jesus Christ to stop, please. And just say, hey. What am I doing for a minute? Pray fast, whatever you need to do. Just stop attacking the King James Bible. Either that or be brave enough to show your face on a video and say why you're doing it, cat. All right? And show scripture where it says that God's going to change his word because he's not. It never says that anywhere. It's you are the strong delusion cat. The Mandela effect is the strong delusion or at least part of one. I don't know if it's the one that God's talking about but it very may well be the peace of God to you. I hope you get right with Jesus cat. I really do.